Hey guys, and welcome back to another Mighty Gingo Tutorials. My name is Zero, and I'll be your instructor for these lessons. So, I bet you like my little avatar I have here, and this is going to be our next lesson in our Back to Basic class on how to rig avatars to the Second Life skeleton. Now, I didn't make this. This is a game rip of Nurse Joy from Pokemon XY and her little form. And she's actually kind of tiny in comparison to the default Second Life avatar. In fact, if you give me a second, um, let me see. Okay, sorry about that. I had to go in Avatar real quick and export an avatar out. You can see in comparison how short this avatar is in comparison to the default Second Life height. So, um, that is what this whole class series is going to be about. We're going to talk about how to rig avatars. Um, to your second life skeleton and make everything from giant avatars like giants to super micro avatars to small cute things like this and we're also going to show you how to um, script your avatar so that it has the alpha HUD as well as the texture applier script that everybody's so crazy about. Now eventually we're going to go into how to do this and bento, how to make bento avatars. But right now this is the back to basic series so we have to stick with the basics before we go into the next step and you know the advance in bento. So um, I highly suggest that you watch the previous videos where we talked about rigging and weight painting because that'll save a whole lot of time if I don't have to explain how to weight paint all over again. Plus, I worked hard on that. Go watch it. <laughs> okay, so now that we have our um, stuff like explained, we are going to jump in and start rigging avatars and stuff like that. Um, I guess I should run down what we're going to be using in this. Well, basically, we're going to need is Blender, a copy of Avastar, and a copies of Sparkles Pro. Sparkles Light won't really work in this kind of avatar rigging situation. So make sure you have at least that. And of course you're going to need a mesh model. Um, all the mesh models I use in this class I'll put in the description so you can download it and practice along with it. Or you can, you know, walk around with it too. I'm not putting the rigged one in there because, you know, you guys need to do the work for that one. So um, with that said, let's jump in and talk about the basics of avatar rigging. <laughs> 